vehicle absorbed all of the impact and diverted around, again, the occupant compartment. The frame literally got folded. Driver's door is removed from the cab. And when you look at the newer vehicle, it doors are pretty well intact and lined up with the adjacent panels. The vehicle absorbed all of the impact and diverted around, again, the occupant compartment. And so the vehicle stayed intact and the energy was diverted around the occupant compartment as opposed to the older F-150, the energy went straight into the occupant compartment and it literally folded. So here's the cab itself is literally folded like an accordion. The roof is buckled, the floor is buckled, and the roof is clearly just buckled. And the occupant would have been in very critical condition. And you can see from this impact, the energy goes all the way through the vehicle. So the impact isn't just in the front end. It went all the way through the bed, all the way to the bumper. All that energy is taken through the vehicle. In a newer vehicle, it is meant to do that. And it just diverts around the occupant compartment the whole way. I hope this video helped to break down what some of the bigger differences are in vehicle construction and why it's so important that they respond a specific way during an accident and that a vehicle is involved in an accident needs to respond exactly the same way after any repairs are done.